Whoa, do you feel that? What's that, lad? Anything, everything. It's warm. We can probably use this boat. If I can just get it free. Careful, lad. We're already off to a lively start. Atreus, you dropped your guard. I got the boat free, though. I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here against Odin and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have curbed that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. There are resources. If you never asked Mom about what she used to do, what did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say, Woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. Uh, did you see that over there? That wheel is blocking the channel. I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. So these are wetlands, huh? That's pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know, it is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. path continues on the other side of that geyser. 
If only we were in Midgard. That water would be frozen in a second. Looks to be an artifact from the Dwarven Resistance. Freyd Mars Brassard, father of a few dwarves you may be well familiar with. Rock may be interested in getting these back. Better in his hands than out in the open. Dirty enough to climb? Aye, good old dwarven craftsmanship. <gasps> Tyr was a friend to the giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met, and if he was a part of the rebellion here. It's certainly possible. The god of war often advocated for the giants, although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance <gasps> outright. Turn the wheel up here. Mm. Mm. Well, there! Give a man some warning if he's about to suddenly end up snout deep in cheek. The ground. Was that an earthquake? Hmm. An occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Spartalfheim. With all the mining here, the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered. Think you can reach the wheel from here? Wow, nice job getting it to lower exactly where we need it. 
thinking because it's so warm maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet but maybe it's just different in Sparta farm I lad thimble winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way weird that thimble winter doesn't always make it winter in Midgard it does but as you can see the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature observe the geysers observe the aforementioned aroma these effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them. Think we can fit under that bridge? Whoa! 
find anything good up there? that wheel moving if the water doesn't reach yeah. That's dwarven ingenuity for ya. Back to the boat. If the dwarves of this realm are anything like Brock and Sindri, it's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self-interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke. Especially where gods are concerned. Yikes, this place is wrecked. 
And yes, I am staying alert. There are probably tons of those Grim around. Thank you, brother! Good thing you learned the runes, brother.
I think that's everything here. Wanna get going? Seems, Atreus, you intend to recruit Tyr as an ally for war. I just... I'm trying to keep our options open. Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warmth? Looks like we gotta find a way to open that gate if we want to get to Nidavoy. Brother, look! That strange fucker popped back out of the ground again! <laughs> you did it! I see what it dropped. <laughs> Halfway there. There's got to be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. Look, there's a chain we can pull up. Halfway there. There's gotta be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. Look, there's a chain we can pull up there. It's clinging to the wall! We gotta knock it down! Cover that geyser from here. Huh. 
There's still the other chain to pull, but how are we going to get to it? Oh, I think I get it. If you freeze the guys, the pressure will turn the wheel. Anything from that block? That's one of Cavassia's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. <laughs> Lad, if I may, what exactly are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? Hmm. Let's hope Tyr's in a talkative mood after being in prison for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. earlier. Do you think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Thimble Winter, maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. You might be onto something, lad. Looks like a city. Welcome to neither of the other brothers. Hey, dwarves! Oh. They're uh running away. An 
alarm. I'd only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body, and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. How's that for us, though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Can we talk we to you for any trouble, please? There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own, and hope they let us in. The buildings here really are incredible. The detail in the woodwork is quite extraordinary. Statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Or fear him. Sindri! Hello! I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. <laughs> Thanks for grabbing that for us. What is a dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oh, you are long overdue for our replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material... Ow! Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something... Uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for, uh, finally trying it? What's it gonna be this time? <sighs> Patience! I find it's best to see these things... Action! Ah! Whew! <sighs> there. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say, Skialfa. didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlies in the Valir. How was I supposed to know they were there? Great flank! Okay, so, Derlin. Sindri, any idea where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer you just punched a hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. So this lockdown really is because of us? Oh my, yes. Odin's grip on this realm is so firm. Any outsider is considered a threat. Sounds like an Odinism if I ever had one. That belonged to one of the rebels, didn't it? Huh! <laughs> <laughs> 
One less feathery spy. Another of Cavassia's poems. Best of luck. Any outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you're made an example of. To keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. The tavern's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe we can try knocking on some doors for directions. I think we need some special equipment to use this. Hello? Sorry to bother you. If you're you. selling something, please bugger off. If you're not selling something, uh, please kindly bugger off. Special equipment to use this. Ah! A fire bomb from the chief anti Odin propagandist in Durland's Rebellion. Quite a sharp wit she had until she turned to the subtle means of resistance. Right side, brother! Right. 
I think I see something. Oh, wow. Sentry wasn't kidding about the structural sensitivity.
house looks promising. Right? Well, that's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You. Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Fair point, though. Very well. I think that's him. Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there. And you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. I wish to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head, I've got skin. But he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down. Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here. Please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now scamper off. Come. A boat cannot be far. Huh. Really, your Cindy made it sound like Earl was some sort of rebellion leader. Doesn't sound like anyone's following you. Was being the key word here, little brother. I saw a dock back there. Maybe there's a boat we can use to get to Derlin's.
There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Ah, those bloody mining rigs. What about them? The Scald is right to blame me for them. They were my idea. If you've got the time, they're in the bay just beyond this tunnel. I'd particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. So, which way do we go? We could prepare more before rescuing Tyr. Up to you. Mimir, were you really the one who had those rigs built? Odin wanted the dwarves under his control, and, well, I convinced him he could buy their allegiance instead of demanding it outright. A trade agreement of sorts. Huh. There's such a big bay. There's no fish. Must be because of the smoke from those mining rigs. Dragon sculpture is not bad. Find your brother. <laughs>
Not the first time someone's told me that, I suppose. I think I see something. <laughs> 